Hey, how you doing? I just uh, wanted to give you an update on uh, the game development. I have a, a lot of new features since I recorded uh, my first demo of the leaderboard stock market game. Uh, hello, my name is uh, Rolando Rivera. My friends call me Ro. I retired a while back, and since I retired, I've been uh, working on this project. And uh, let me just jump right into the demo. Um, I have a new leaders tab. So you go in there, update leaderboard, and it shows you the top uh, 12 performers of the game uh, ranked in order of cash holdings. Uh, go back to home page, <clears throat> go into login. I will log in as me. And the format is slightly uh, modified. I have uh, to start the first modification. I show the top three players while you're playing the game. Uh, so there's the top three and that jives with uh, what I was showing you before, the top 12 players, number one player being Bonnie. Um, where's that tab? It's in the way. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so that jobs with the uh, top 12 players. Let me just jump into that so you can see that at the same time, too. Go in here, jump into my leaders tab, do the top 12 players, and there's Bonnie, Howard, and TMT. Uh, and that all jives with the top three here. Okay, the other newness is that the event card doesn't pop up anymore. It uh, stays within this first uh, section of the screen. Uh, and there's three main sections, event, buy, and sell. Um, and I wanted to separate the buy and sell because, of course, there are two very different transactions. And I didn't want players to confuse one with the other. The other uh, update that you will see is that all of this populates automatically. You no longer have to uh, you know, refresh your cash holdings or the current stock price uh, for the card that's up. And I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, so let me jump right into that. I'll pick a card. Uh, that's a wild card that reduces the cash uh, holdings. It does that automatically. You know, as I said, you don't have to refresh that. You start out with 500,000 and this particular player, uh, all that logged in as me, had the misfortune of drawing this card first. So the cash balance immediately went from 500,000, which is the starting point for every player, uh, to 545. Let me draw the next card. I'll show you what happens. Oh, there's a description here in the stock price that populated automatically. No change to stock price or any particular stock price. The cash balance was reduced to the percentage below. So you see that and that was automatic as well. Let me pick, uh, pick another card. And uh, you see uh, just every card has a three line description uh, for a particular stock. And in the company, and you'll see here, these are the stocks in the company. Uh, they're in alphabetical order. That's uh, that's new <laughs> from the last demonstration. Uh, but you don't have to select that anymore. It'll populate automatically based on the card that you picked. In this particular case, it was American Airlines. Uh, there was uh, an increase in the stock for price from before you drew the card. And it shows you what that new stock price is. You can make an action to buy it here. You haven't purchased anything yet. Uh, I don't want to do that because I don't want to buy at, you know, the the uh, there's two cards for every company. One card increases value, one card decreases value. There's a couple of wild cards in there. You saw one already, uh, but I don't want to buy American Airlines right at the start of, uh, you know, when, when I, I got the first um, increase card. I don't want to buy at that point, so I'll pick another card. Uh, United Airlines, that's also an increase. I don't want to buy at that point. You see that this populated automatically as well. Uh, another wild card that reduces, and this one looks like a bad card. It's actually a good card. It's a good time to buy is why it's a good card. All stocks are down 15%. So really, I can buy anything I want, uh, and I automatically have a 15% uh, reduction in current price. And the next card that I draw may will probably be and there's a probability you have to kind of have to count cards a little bit uh there's 27 total we've only drawn about five or six but already i can make 15 percent, and the probability that i draw a high card um is is high 
because this card has already been drawn. So I want to go with the more expensive stocks. I want to buy, for example, Microsoft. So I update uh, the current stock price entries here. I have to do that because it, it's not related to the card that's up. So there's the new price for or the new price for Microsoft. I want to buy, for example, let's just keep it simple round numbers. I want to buy a thousand shares. I hit the buy button and I get the message. Um, automatically, my cash holdings is reduced uh, based on the purchase price for that transaction. If I update my portfolio here, I see what I own. Okay, I'll go to the next card. Uh, Microsoft is up already. The next card just happened to be Microsoft. Um, it updated automatically. The new price is 337. I purchased at 270. So why not sell it all? I've already made a pretty 15% uh, profit on that transaction. So I want to sell the thousand shares that I just purchased. There's my message for uh, selling that sell transaction. And my cash balance is already 12,000 higher than when I started the game update my portfolio settings and there you have it i'm up at 512 so if i jump to the next tab we'll advance uh i've been playing this one a little bit longer you can find that tab there it is okay i've been I'm playing this one a little bit longer i'm already up to six hundred and eleven thousand. and what i want i hope to show you here is how i get on the leaderboard i'm almost there already so this particular game is me again uh, at 611,000, I'm currently number 11. So 611,793. Uh, no, not that tab. But this tab, six, round up, 611,794. So let me pick a card in this game. Exxon is down. It may be a good time to buy Exxon. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll buy a thousand shares just to keep it. And you know what? I'm going to do another transaction of 200, of just a random number, 238. So I show here by update portfolio, I should have two transactions where I purchased uh, Exxon uh, shares. Uh, one transaction, I purchased a thousand. The other, I purchased 238. Let me pick an X card and hopefully it'll go up on Exxon. That's a Chevron card. Thank goodness. Looking for an Exxon card or a wild card that increases the uh, value of Exxon shares that I own. Uh, this is a good opportunity to show you the different cards that are in the game. At your leisure, you can read the explanations that are in the card about the reasons for change in price okay there it is wild card that increased by 15 percent so if i come down here i purchase exxon at 137 the current price for exxon is 158 it went up 15 percent i'm going to sell both first the small one a lot of shares that i own Cash balance went up to 478. Update my portfolio and that lot will be gone. This one should take me further up in the leaderboard settings. I want to show you that real time. Also all 1000 shares. And my cash holdings is up to 637. Not incredibly high, but it moved me a little bit higher. Let's take a look. I was at 611 at number 11. If I update, I should be at number 10. It was 630 or number nine it was 637, 370. What was my score? Not that one, but this one, 637, 370. Yeah, there I am at number nine. So anyway, that's the update. Uh, other features to come will be updates in the card section. I'll actually show you the cards here so you can take a look at what they are when you log in. If you're new to the game, you can 
get a feel for what's um, you know, what changes the uh, stock prices and what are the conditions and what is the art behind the cars. I kind of like the artwork and the photography that I pick. Um, I can easily change the theme um, by just changing a couple values in the database and a couple image files. This can be a completely different uh, set of companies, right? Uh, with completely different artwork, completely different reasons why those particular stocks uh, go up and down. Uh, as I mentioned in the description on my LinkedIn, uh, the reasons are plucked out of uh, ChatGPT and um, Yahoo. Uh, so, you know, I can change, I can do research on new companies and, and do a new look and feel, uh, a completely different sort of look and feel of the game just based on what the companies are, right? I, I uh, considered starting with something that I know a lot about, something in the defense industry, and focus on companies that are, uh, you know, defense contractors or suppliers, technology suppliers to to uh, defense department. I, I know a little bit about that, so I can focus on companies that do that kind of work and completely change the look and feel uh, of the cards and the explanation behind uh, what makes prices go up and down in that in that sector of the industry. So anyway, those are things that, uh, you know, that will evolve as I develop this game. I'm kind of having fun doing it. I have no deadlines, no pressures, but I do have a website and I do have a hosting facility that is, that is currently provisioning a server so that I can upload uh, my files and that you know, give you a chance to uh, try the game. And, and uh, hopefully you'll find it as uh as much fun playing as I did developing it. Thank you very much for your time and attention. Have a great day.